Hey, good morning, everybody. I am going to show you the quick stick foundation this morning. I'm putting in another order. It releases again today. And this is its sister product that works best with it. This is our Kabuki brush. And if you'll see, it's got a real dense kind of flat head. Hold on. Whew, excuse me. Okay, and so then this is our stick foundation. It took the place, grab these other ones, of our cream foundations that were in the compacts. And I've got a couple different colors. This is Tool, and that's kind of what's in between um, Velour and Organza. Hey, Sarah. And I've got a Velour here and an organza. You can do one stick, one color all over. You can highlight and contour with the sticks, give a little dimension. Kind of kind of up to you. I'm going to do my tool and this was a sad day the other day. That's, I've had these, hey Brenna, mm, I don't know, for Four months something like that anyways it's still very full but I dropped my tool one and it broke off so it's not pretty and rounded on the tip but it's still gonna do its job but I've already done rose water and my primer and I'm just kind of painting it on and it takes the place of concealer foundation it does have a soft finish some people wear it by itself I like to finish it off with like the finishing powder um, and the setting powder if I need a little bit more coverage, I just kind of add it here or there, and I've got a brush we can do that with, or you can add a little bit of pressed powder over it with the brush. Um, but it's really great coverage and really super duper quick. You can use any brush with it. I have tried all of our multiple brushes. You know, I love the powder and the concealer brush where it's on both ends, but the Kabuki brush actually does, um, I don't want to say spread it around. I feel like there should be a prettier word. Anyway, blends it in better to me than that other brush. So I do use the Kabuki brush with this one. But it just gives it very even. It's moisturizing. This one doesn't settle into your lines. Um, hey, Mama. The uh, liquid foundation, if you have dry skin or kind of more mature skin, sometimes that can show some of your fine lines. Or settle into lines and this one to me actually does not and does better and especially with dry skin it's moisturizing so that helps and I like it during the summer because you get that little hey Jody um, moisturizing feel but see we got all that coverage it is buildable so you can always add more Let me grab this little brush real quick sorry but it's very quick, so like you can do that, throw on some bronzer, mascara, and be out the door. Um, grab it again. So I got all my stuff in dance makeup bag, so we're gonna have to just go with this one. So if you wanted to, you can always go back and just add a little. I've got some little red dot right here right now. I don't know what that's about. Here are places, but I get it pretty good coverage and I don't really feel like I need to go back. So from there, I'm going to grab our setting powder. It's translucent. I'll still use the Kabuki brush. It has this, hey Kathy, it's got this little, um, I guess, netting over it so the powder doesn't fall out and it kind of gives you just the right amount. It is translucent, but it's just going to give me that matte finish versus kind of moisturizing finish of the stick. But anyways, this is all, all the colors are back in stock today. Um, so if y'all want me to throw you in on my order, let me know. I'll be ordering this morning. Hey, Uncle Tom. All right, let's grab, we got the bronzer, summertime. So we're just going to do a quick little color, nothing major. I'm going to take my angled brush, the original blush brush for the bronzer. That's what I've been doing. And then I've been taking the new brush, the tapered blush brush. That was a lot of beads right there. It's kind of got the mushroom head for the actual blush itself. This one is just, no, it's not. This one is serene, but it's kind of more of a highlighter too. 
So I go a little bit higher with it. Um, so you get that little bit of shimmer. Since we, it is summer and we're being super duper easy, I'm going to go back to my bronzer. And we're going to do that for eyeshadow today, okay? So I'm going to take my liner shader brush. You do have the two sides on, but we've got three colors. So you've got a little shimmer side and a matte side. And I'm just going to kind of do it right in the middle. And that way we just get a little bit of both the best of both worlds, okay? So that way you're not having to use a million products, but you can still have on a little bit of makeup. Hey, Emily. All right, also, you know, I'm, put, I'm gonna put in an order today, and I wanted to do the 4D, show y'all how to do that one more time. So when I first got the tube, obviously it's completely full when you first get it. And one dip, take it out, and I would do my lashes. So then I had told you I wanted to try doing like my lash serum and doing it over it, trying it with the regular Epic and then doing it over it. And I found with the serum it made it clumpy, so I didn't like that. And then I had a, um, a couple people who said, well, I'm not sure if I like it. It's kind of clumpy the more I use it. Okay, so what I learned, it really does... Uh, make a difference the way you pull this wand out, okay? Sounds silly, but the slower you pull it out, because there's so, hey Missy, the slower you pull it out, because there's so many bristles on the brush, the better it does. If you pull it out super fast, it's really clumpy. The slower you pull it out, the more it's going to pull off, and because there's fibers in there, it like evenly disperses it. So it's a little different than the regular mascara. You can't just pull and go. You can in the beginning because it's full and it's whatever. Now they're kind of like more condensed. So you gotta slowly pull it out. So we are still gonna do one at a time. And remember with this one, the wand is shaped differently on both sides with different sizes of bristles. So we're gonna flip it and we're gonna wiggle. And we're going to flip it. I got lots of people who are talented, and as they're going up, they're flipping it. See, that's why I can't do it. I don't have that coordination. So I flip and go back. Flip and come back. I do like to have some kind of spoolie brush available. Mine is on my brow brush. And you can just kind of lengthen them. And just kind of separate as you'd like. Now, every once in a while, hey, Laura, I haven't redipped it, but I have been recently. But I have to pull it out really slow again because of the change of, you know, product within the tube. Well, okay, if you haven't heard me say this, you will probably a million times, especially if there is an issue with the product. You got to let me know, okay? Um, I can't help you unless you let me know. So we found out that some people were having trouble with, like they thought it was clumpy, but it's not. You gotta, you gotta pull it out slow, and that has fixed the problem. All right, so we're gonna let this one go. I mean, as in set, I'm gonna put it back in the tube, and then we'll go back and we'll add the length to it in just a second. Okay, I'm just kind of separating them, and then always let any boo boos dry before we fix them. All right, so it's back in. Seems silly, but we're gonna pull it out super duper slow. Hey, Michelle. I'm gonna just wipe off that tip. All right, so let's do this side. And I'm just gonna go all the way this time from the base of my lashes out, flip. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna flip. So this order will be going in today too. So the 40 is 29. The stick is 39, just like our other foundations and the Kabuki brush is 32. And all that's free shipping for the bulk order. All right, so just kind of keep flipping. Now, once I did the first 
maybe two, I didn't do maybe, but two swipes from the base of my lashes out. I'm only going like halfway down and out, okay? I don't do the whole length of the lash again. I'm gonna stick it back in the tube for a minute so I can use my spoolie brush and just kinda separate as I'd like. And I'm, my thinking is the more I use the tube, the less I'll have to because the product amount will be less in my tube. Because it's not super duper big anyways. I mean, that I'm messing with. I just can tell when a fiber gets too close to the other one. All right, so let's do it one more slow. One more time. We're going to go back to the other eye. And so now we're just doing the tips, okay? Now we're just adding to the tips. And literally, if you like go where you can't see, you'll start adding length because those fibers are grabbing onto your lashes. We're gonna flip and go this side. I'm just touching the tips. The other thing that's weird, but it makes a huge difference, if you like turn it different than what you're used to, like obviously you're usually like this, but if you turn it, so usually like this, if you turn, oh, I did my, my hair. You turn it you get different lengths too does some take some practice hence me mascaring my hair but you just kind of have to play with different angles and stuff some people even do it like this I don't do great like that either but we'll give it a shot why not and obviously you can go back and do the tips as much as you want all right since I have grab this out of my sink my liner in my hand. Let's brush these babies out. Y'all see how much they're growing? A little shaggy, but they're growing good. All right, so I've got the medium colored pencil, and I'm just gonna kind of fill it in just a little bit. Nothing major, but they're so crazy growing back in. We gotta make some kind of shape to them. Like, so it doesn't look like we just got hairs growing everywhere. Oh my gosh, Michelle, I saw that um, party you went to, the birthday party. That looked like so much fun. I totally agree. If I get invited, I'll definitely go. All right. So see, nothing major. We just kind of like, well, connected the hairs in my, in my case. Okay, so we did easy. We did the stick. We did our bronzer, we did a little bit of blush as a highlighter too. We did bronzer on our lids. We did the 4D with the stick because our eyebrow brush liner, because it's got the spoolie brush that I use while I'm doing my lashes. Um, I'll grab a bonbon. I grabbed a cherry cobbler. Oh my gosh, it looked like so much fun. I don't know if I could hang for four hours, but it looked fun. All right, it looks super bright. They go one differently than what they look. But I love a bonbon because you can throw it in your purse. It's got just a hint of color. We've got five different colors. So, stick. You know what? You don't have time at home? Throw it in your purse. That's the other thing I love. It's a travel. Travel buddy. Travel buddy. And you know what my last travel buddy is? Let me grab it. Oh, my goodness. Where'd you go? I already grabbed it. My third travel buddy. So that's what I'm loving are these throw and go things, okay? And you grab your brush and, and you're ready to go, okay? So my other travel buddy, obviously, is going to be my finishing powder. It does have the SPF in it. I um, also had on my day cream under all this that had SPF in it. But this finishing powder does that quick dispersion of light when it hits. So you kind of get that. Photoshop help look it like the light particles when kind of little flaws are dispersed and that's it guys obviously I was sitting here running my mouth so it took longer but um stick today 39 going in all colors will be back in stock at noon I think that's Eastern I'm not 100% sure stay tuned but anyways I'll be going in at noon to order and then um, the kabuki brush It'll be back in stock. These two I highly recommend going together. The other brushes you can kind of, you know, mix and match, whatever. But I do think the Kabuki goes the best with that. And then I did the bronzer. 
the 4D with the brow liner in medium. Make sure you twist and turn, slowly pull. Try different angles, try different things. If you're struggling with it, let me know. Um, and then I always finish with my finishing powder. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope you had a great start to summer. Reach out and let me know if I can help you in any ways, and I'll see you soon. Bye.